Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a month, once a month, what? If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases I've seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, or if I think everything's a total washout. So before we jump into this past week's new products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you're not and I hope you would God, I cannot talk today and if you haven't already I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday before we jump into the products I have a couple of updates now Fenty Beauty has just been throwing lip stone lip paints at us for like a week and a half and I, I couldn't keep up I almost wish they had released all the new shades at once just so I could have placed a big order uh, but she released two new shades and then she released one other new nude shade and then she released a black lipstick that black was like what I was hoping for and I didn't think she was gonna come out with a black lipstick honestly in this formula and I'm so happy that she did so I currently have all four of like the nudier shades. I've got the red, I've got the brown, I've got the mauve, and then I've got the peachy nude that I'm wearing today. I'm still waiting for the black lipstick to come in. I was a bit of an idiot and instead of waiting until it popped up on Sephora, I bought it straight from the Fenty website and it's been like three days and I still haven't gotten a shipping confirmation yet so I should have just bought it from Sephora but I like I saw the tweet from Trend Mood literally the second it dropped and like my heart stopped and I had to pick up the lipstick so I didn't see it on Sephora right then so I went to Fenty and I bought it and so lesson learned it was on Sephora like an hour and a half later so just wait for it to show up on Sephora you get free two days shipping Monica and you can even make it one day if you pay a little bit more just Anyway, so I'm still working on the black lipstick video. I am hoping to get it out right before Halloween, hopefully the week before, but I'm waiting for that Fenty one to come in because I cannot do that video without the Fenty black lipstick. I also really want to do a video just lips watching and talking about the rest of the shades, so let me know down below if you want the black lipstick to be included in the regular Fenty lip video that I'm going to be doing, or if you just want to see it on these four, because I'll do lip swatches, I'll show you like an average day of wear if you want to see that, just like me wearing it to work and how it looks like at lunch and how it looks like at the end of the day and if I have to reapply it. So let me know what you want to see down below. I'm really excited to do this video. I'm really excited that she finally came out with new like lip stones because this is one of my favorite lip formulas like to date. The last update I want to give is on a palette that I talked about quite a while ago and only just recently picked up because I, I had my doubts about it. I picked up the Urban Decay Elements palette. It's beautiful. It really is. It's got like this gigantic mirror in it and it actually stands up so you can use it. I've played around with a couple of the shades here, but I haven't tested it out fully, so I don't want to give an opinion on it either way, just because I haven't tested it yet. But I will say, I swatched this at the Ulta. Beautiful. But already, the blue one stained my hands after I swatched. So that is something to keep in mind if you're sensitive or if you don't like staining eyeshadows, the blue ones already did. Let me know if you guys want to see a palette roulette with this. I think that'd be a lot of fun just to kind of like pick five random shades, maybe four because it's so colorful, and just do a look with this. Or if you want to see like a full review video. So last week I did talk about how um, Juvia's Place is now at Ulta. That's fantastic. So one of the Ultas that Juvia's Place is in is nearby. So I actually went to it this past weekend. Unfortunately, but not really unfortunately, everything was sold out. Literally every palette was sold out. So I'm really happy that the brand is doing incredible and the brand is doing incredible in store as well. But I really wanted to get one of the palettes. <laughs> um, but it was nice to see them all in person and to be able to swatch them and to be able to actually like see the palettes. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on that Ulta. I really don't know like when they're going to be like in stock permanently because I think as soon as they restock them like they go like hotcakes they go <laughs> but everything looks beautiful and I really want to pick up at least one more Juvia's Place palette actually in store so I'm gonna wait until I can see them in store again I'm still waiting for the ABH Sultry palette to come out because I really do want to pick that up it'll be 
on Sephora on October 9th. So I think I'm gonna, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till October 9th and then I will pick that palette up. So this new Sephora Pro palette, I looked at it real quick and I swear to God, I thought it was that Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Also, I just realized I did not scoot. There. So yeah, it looks just like the Born to Run palette. Yeah, it's called the Smoky Jewels palette and it's $68. I, I've been interested in like the Sephora Pro eyeshadow formula, but not at that price point. They can't be charging more than the majority of their like mid-range brands. I really think they just overshot it with these palettes, especially because the first palettes that came out didn't have entirely glowing reviews. October 3rd so I do have a date the actual holiday eyeshadow not eyeshadow god the actual holiday palette from Hourglass will be dropping on Sephora October 3rd so that's actually going to be today like the day that this video is posted so I am gonna pick that up I am super excited I really want to do a video comparing the two palettes because I've had a couple people ask me uh, if I would do a video comparing and if I honestly think that the palettes are worth it because this is the first time that I've been able to pick up the Hourglass Holiday palette. I've been thoroughly testing out the first one. I'm very impressed. I really am. So I really want to give myself, a, you know, enough time to thoroughly test out that one and then that video will be going up. Sephora is coming out with some new like mini favorites kits and like little bags where they have like a mystery lip kit. A mystery liner kit and a mystery cheek kit and in each one you have two products that you can see on the bag and then on the back I guess there's five products but you only get one of them so it's like a mystery what like that third product is and they're $16 each and from my understanding they're all mini products I think this is a really cute gift idea it's like a stocking stuffer like something I would get like my little cousin I think this is adorable I'm not a huge fan of any of the products that they're showing on the front of each of the bags like for the eyeliner they have the Kat Von D and the Stila eyeliners they have on the lip kit they have a bite lipstick is that a bite lipstick I think so and then one of the Sephora brand lipsticks and then on the cheek kit they have a Bobbi Brown blush and then a NARS blush which I think that would be a cute one but anyway I think it's really great that they made those kits smaller like that's a really smart move okay can we just take a second and talk about how much Huda Beauty hyped this palette. First it was just like a preview of the box and then it was the black and white filter of just like, ooh, what shades do we have in here? Ooh, you're not gonna know yet. They could have left it black and white because this is the palette. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I saw this palette and the first thing I did was just like roll my eyes so hard. And then my second thought was this looks like uncooked chicken. This looks like a chicken that went bad. Yeah, these metallics look chunky as hell. No, no. Does anyone actually want this? Especially for $65? Odds are if you're into makeup, you have this. Ready. Okay, so I know I've said before I'm not a huge fan of MAC brushes, MAC eyeshadow brushes. I've tested out a few of them. Honestly, I like my Sigma ones better. I've tried cheaper brushes, I've tried more expensive brushes. Sigma is just kind of like my go-to brushes and they're worth, honestly, I think they're worth the price that they are. But I saw this adorable kit from MAC that's coming out and I don't even, I don't want the brushes. I want the case. That like gigantic lipstick thing that opens up and you can put brushes in it, I want it. I really want it. I had to convince myself not to get this because I'm not paying $43 just for a cute lipstick brush holder. But it tempted me. It did because that case looks adorable. So I've never heard of this collab but apparently it's on round two. It's Estee Lauder and Violet. Uh, let me go look at her profile. Yeah, so it looks like she's the Estee Lauder Global Beauty Director. So they collabed with an employee. That's fine. 
I mean, I've never heard of her. I'm sure she's great. But these palettes. I mean, that blue and gold one looks kind of cute, but when I zoom in on the shades, they look chunky. I don't know. I've never been excited for anything from Estee Lauder other than, like, the Double Wear Foundation. It's just not that kind of brand. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for this week. Don't forget to let me know down below what you want to see from the Fenty Lips Done video. I really want to get that out within the next week, week and a half. And I'm hoping I can have the black lipstick in by then. I swear to God, I'll never order directly from a brand again. <laughs> ah, God, just stick to Sephora and Ulta. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.